So for almost, I don't know, 20 years, Google has made Google Groups about as difficult as it could be for any person who does not have a MBA in computer science. So guess what? I have good news. It's super easy to do a forwarder in your Google admin, uh, in, in Google workspace, as they call it now, right? So, I mean, they're going to change the name next year, so we better get used to it. Um, all right, so let's look at this. The first thing you're going to want to do is if you have an existing you know, group that works well, a good thing to do is maybe um, look at your settings in that, right? So that's all I'm going to do. And I took a screenshot of this, okay? And uh, now I need a new one, right? So I'm going to um, go back to groups right here. And let's see, do we have a sales? I'm going to set up a sales. Nope, I don't. Um, so I'm going to go um, add new group, um, which was where create a group right here. And I'm going to call this sales. Right. Then I'm going to create the description. The email is actually sales at go agency, right? Um, the group owner, I'm going to put me, but already exists. I thought we just looked at that guys. Let's go back. <laughs> Let's make sure our sales works. Um, let's see. Okay, let's create social. I'm going to create a social. Okay. I guess I already did that one. And the group email is going to be social. All we're doing is a forwarder. Now, there's a forum in a way. I mean, you could save yourself a lot of money by using Google Groups and using uh, the forum side of it. We won't get into that in this, this video. And I, I always make my videos short because I'm not trying to, to monetize you. I want to get quick and to the point. So I'm going to put myself as a group owner right here. I've come up and then um, we have a security label action. Okay, we're just it's just going to be a mailing. This is label is new. See, it's new. They've made it easy. They finally listened. Um, so I'm going to hit next. And then I'm just going to compare this to what I had before. And I think the only difference is right here, click publish posts. Let me double check my screen here. Everything looks the same. Um, anyone in the organization can ask. You're going to want to check that. And let's see, allow uh, members outside of your organization to, to join. Um, now, this is where it gets tricky. Um, if you're forwarding this to another domain, um, then check it yes if you're not, and it's just internal. So my social at Go Agency is going to only people at Go Agency, right? If it was going to somebody else, like an outside vendor or something like that, then I would turn this uh, to say yes, okay? And then I would add them as well. So I'm going to create the group. And then if I wanted to add any members to it, I just simply uh, add my member here. So let's see, I got to go admin. I'm going to add them or anybody else, add to group. Bingo, it's done. And that, my friend, is how you create groups super easily. Test it. Um, test it from another domain. Um, I'm going to send it to social and test it just to make sure it works and make sure that everybody in the group got the email. And that is how you do groups in 2022 in Google Workspace. Believe it or not, you can set up email forwarders. Super simple, just like that. No a million check boxes. Isn't life grand? Hope this video helped you out.